Hey guys, my name is Alex, and in this video I will show you the benefits of using a render farm, and I will also introduce you a bid to our system. We made it quite simple to use, but I want to make sure that all of you understand the process. On the front page, we made available for you the render plans. Depending on the number of credits you aim to purchase, the plans have discounted prices. If you click on the Let's Render button, you will be redirected to a page where you can also find a custom credit package. You enter the desired amount and click the Add to Cart button and proceed to the checkout page. I will start by showing you how to create a new user on our website. I will walk you through the entire process. You can click on Login, then if you are not already registered, you have the Create an Account option available. Here you need to add your first name, last name, email address, and password. You can also sign up for our newsletter. In order to receive news from us regarding bonuses or new features that we are going to release in the future. After filling these information, you click on Submit and you will be automatically logged in. On the account page, you have on the right side the credit number available. All the customers will get 10 credits to use for our demo plan. You can use the credits for actual render time, but you will receive a watermarked file when downloaded. Only JPEG and PNG files are supported for output on the demo account. You can also use these points to render HDR, EXR, or other file formats you may choose, but you will be able to download them after making a payment on our website to activate your account. If you overlay on Let's Render, you will get a dropdown, and there you can see the cost calculator. This will help you approximate the amount of credits that you are going to use for rendering your scene. You will need to enter the number of frames, the render time on your machine, then configure the workstation to match your settings in order to get a close approximation over the costs for your job. I call this an approximation because depending on the complexity of your scene, it may take more or less credits to obtain the final render on your project. If you have a linear scene where all the frames take the same amount of time, then it should be a close approximation. In the same dropdown, you will be able to find the FAQ and video tutorials where you will be able to find information about the process you need to follow in order to submit your projects to our render farm. The next option in our menu is the dashboard. That's actually the place where all the magic happens. For security reasons, you will need to log in with your username and password that you have chosen when open the account. That's a one-time step you will need to do, as from now on you will be automatically logged in. For the username, add the registered email address and your password, then you can click on the sign in button to access the dashboard. We tried to keep it as simple as possible for everyone. We are working on adding new features which will improve the workflow, but for now, it will be very easy to get started if you follow some simple steps to prepare your projects. The steps for submitting a project will be covered in separate videos, but now, I will try to explain a bit about the general user interface. On the Packages page, you will upload your zip projects which, for software, needs some preparations. I will explain everything in the Submit video tutorials. Clicking on the plus button will open a new window where you add the name of the package and select the software type for your job. The list of supported software might change in the future as we work on supporting as many software as possible. We will also list in the FAQ section all the plugins available for the supported programs. Clicking on the next button will give you the option to upload the packages on our servers. This button will open the notifications tab. Here you will see the notifications like job completed, how many credits a job used, also, if something wrong happened while rendering or submitting the job, you will get an error displayed in the same tab. Going left from the Notifications tab, you see the Credits number. This will update in real time when a frame finishes the rendering process. The credits can also be seen under My Account menu. If you overlay on your username, the Logout button will appear. On the Packages and Jobs page, you can use filters to display the content, sorting them by software type, status of the job, or the package name. Right now, there is no package uploaded, but I will show you soon how everything works once we start using the platform. On the left side, we have the stats for number of uploaded packages, jobs, active jobs, and the failed ones. The stats are also active links, which will open a page with the active jobs, failed ones, etc. Okay, so we covered the basics of our system, and we'll get more in depth once we start testing packages. Thank you for watching our CGI Farm introductory video. For more information on package upload and rendering, please watch the other videos listed on the tutorials page. CGIFarm.com